All right. Um, I thought the conference also started really strong with Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. I think it ended fairly strong with Avengers and stuff. Yeah, I think so too. Oh shit! All Avengers? Oh, was that the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. there you go, Eric. What is it? What is it? What is it? I think what is it? What kind of game is this? You guys talk about music and not me not recognizing. I recognize that music right away, didn't I? Could have guessed. Pulsar deck. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe there's a little. Ooh. Dynamics, they have a great track record. So just called Avengers, huh? Marvel's yeah. Avengers. Good. Sweet. Please welcome Sean Escott, Creative Director, Crystal Dynamics, and Bill Roseman, Good. Vice uh, President sure and Creative Director. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> you guys? Walks out. What's up? Incredibly excited to reveal Marvel's Avengers to the world. A few years ago, Crystal wow. Dynamics and Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game, one that combined epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. A game where we as players can experience, in both single player and co op, what it's like to be. Earth's mightiest heroes. Do I have any true believers in show. the house? <coughs> yes! Awesome. Because you will instantly recognize your favorite superheroes and villains, but you'll also see that they're unique to this game, as this is Crystal's interpretation of these iconic characters. 
Our story begins at A-Day, as San Francisco celebrates the opening of the Avengers West Coast headquarters, and the team's custom helicarrier, outfitted with a strange experimental energy source. However, the day turns deadly when an attempt to steal this new technology results in massive destruction. Blamed for the tragedy, the Avengers are outlawed and our heroes disband. Five years later, a horrific evil threatens the world. And our only hope is to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes. Five years. Time yet, don't you? Yeah. play as your favorite yeah. Avengers in an all new original ago. story showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. It's about losing what matters to you most and fighting to get it back. Okay. <laughs> Most importantly, this is a story about self-acceptance in the face of adversity, about embracing our individual powers and learning that together we are mighty. You'll lead the team as the legendary super soldier, Captain America. You'll call down the lightning as the Asgardian god of thunder, Thor. You'll channel the anger of scientist Bruce Banner by unleashing the Hulk. You'll gather intel and strike swiftly as the ultimate tactical spy, Black Widow. And finally, you'll blast through the sky as a charismatic Tony Stark. No to the wider world as the Armored Iron Man. To bring this incredible story to life, we've assembled an all-star cast. I'll let them introduce themselves. I do not recognize a few, but I can't place their names. Uh, I wish I got it. So, here we are. Avengers Assembled. Who are you Who people again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Hi, I'm Troy Baker, Baker, and I play Bruce Banner. Hi, I'm Jeff Shine, and I play Captain America. Hi, I'm Travis Willingham, and I play Thor. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey, and I'm playing Black Widow. Hi, I'm Nolan North, and I play Tony Stark. And there's certain characters I don't think you ever have to be uh, talked into. Yeah. You know, so we'd like to have you play Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah, yes. Uh, you know, everybody always portrays him as this super confident character. I think it's a mask for, for him. I think he's a, one of the most vulnerable guys. I think Bruce is just such a cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to, to bring out the big green, but I think that, that Bruce is a super complex character. It was fun, and I've never played him before. What is very relatable about Natasha is she's extremely capable, but she's at the core, she's human. She's what? surrounded by all of this larger-than-life stuff, and she has to step up to it. I, I feel like Thor got really interesting in the last like 10 or 15 years. From, for me, I, I like where he's kind of landed in the, the public eye. You know? yeah. One of the things I think is cool about Cap is yeah. I never feel like he uh, he necessarily wants to be a leader. He accepts that he is. I feel like sometimes the best leaders are the ones who don't necessarily want to be, but they're right for the job. Having an original story to tell as well, what they've done at Crystal Dynamics is great, so I think everybody's going to be pretty stoked. The Avengers are at their best when they are all together, but the chemistry is... <laughs> do not shake. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Can't wait for you to be able to play the game, but right now, you don't have to wait for some exclusive content. Which is five years after Ada. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check it was a heist. Bruce, no. We were outsmarted. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. 
we failed him. We failed him. Please welcome Scott Amos, head of studio, and Megan Marie, senior community and social media manager, Crystal Dynamics. Start <laughs> more, more. It's like when we're at Star Wars, we're screaming at everything. Hello, it's true. Scott Amos. <laughs> Scott Amos. Is. You just, you've just seen a high-level view of the cinematic and character-driven campaign of Marvel's Avengers. But launch is only the beginning of this adventure. Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new content released at a regular basis. Really? Like the Avengers, there. you and your friends are stronger together. You'll assemble into teams of up to four players online. Four players online? where you can master extraordinary abilities, where you can customize a growing roster of heroes Growing and defend roster. the Earth from ever-escalating threats. Oh yes, oh yes. And to make sure everyone comes on this journey with us, we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost. Ooh. to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay to win scenarios. <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. This game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics, Marvel Games, I know you're out here, <laughs> IDOS Montreal, these guys are here, yes. Nixie Software, our new Crystal Northwest studio, and everyone at Square Enix. So our game is about embracing your powers and living your superhero dreams. We have an exclusive gameplay demo in our booth that will show you more of the core campaign, its original story, and our superheroes in action. So Marvel's Avengers will release worldwide on PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, and PC. We got you covered. <laughs> and we're excited to be partnering with PlayStation to bring some awesome surprises to the PlayStation audience. Oh. Hmm. Including early beta access and unique benefits that we'll be revealing in the future. But before we go, we have one final glimpse into our world, including when you'll get to play this game. This is what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, true believers. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Hank. I have a plan, but it's risky. What? Hey, that doesn't look ready. Come on, Tony, live a little. <laughs> is it Hank? It isn't it's Hank. It's Hank. Hank. Yeah. Hank. I say, because that's Yellow Jacket. Though. Yeah. Unbelievable. It worked. It's sort of cute when they're small. Ah, I didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. <laughs> I didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. <laughs> The thing would still be ridiculously heavy. May 15, 2020. Nice. All right. Eric, as far as I know you're an Avengers fan, like, yeah. what did you think of this Marvel Avengers game coming out from Square Enix? Uh, it looked interesting. I mean, they're, you know, doing this original version, uh, their version of these Avengers characters, which, you know, they spent a lot of time, like, you know, almost introducing them to you, know, to you though I think every person in the world kind of knows these characters pretty well. I was kind of wanting to say, okay, what's different about them? Like, what's different about your this version? Sure. Which uh, we didn't quite get into, but they have this, you know, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have this kind of like San Francisco A-Day pre-setup tutorial mission, and then we get into the meat of the story yeah. with uh, bringing in new characters. Like, what can they bring in that you know, MCU hasn't brought in? 
will be yeah. interesting and different interpretations, and we can have you know new scenarios with other characters interacting with characters that have died off in the MCU or were never introduced. They talked about Terrigen at one point, which is a, That's a inhuman yeah. thing. So we'll see more in like humans, humans or Agents of Shield. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, it looks interesting. There was a part of me that kind of just wanting to wait for the Spider-Man universe that kind of just kicked off with the Spider-Man PS4 game, you know. And there was an idea like, oh, what are they going to do next? And you know, because they had some ties in there with other characters. Mm -hmm. But this kind of this over here almost seems like when the you know, DCEU wanted to do Justice League right out the gate, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, with the video game though, it might be different. It might be easier, and they might have a different uh, idea of what they want to do with so many different characters in one story. Okay. Yeah, it's it's interesting because the gameplay of it looked very cinematic, but I I really didn't get a feel of how it played. Me either. Yeah, it I mean, felt like it was like a quick time event for a second. There. Like you felt like it felt like Hulk was running and he punched something, and it felt like yeah. you were Iron Man floating and you shot at something. Yeah. But as far as like the general playing mechanics, yeah, I mean, you you're not too sure yet. Yeah, so. you didn't get a sense of movement. I felt like like but, moving this through this environment. Yeah. yeah, but we may be able to see a little bit more. Maybe here with E three on the show floor. They I, said they had a playable, right? I, I believe they said something. Yeah, because I about said, it, really? did we get that? Yeah, they got some cool actors doing it. Yeah, well, and that's, yeah. that's a big thing. It's a big house. Like, yeah. like Crystal Dynamics, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did Tomb Raider, right? Yep. Yes. They did They did quite a few things. So, I mean, like, and then they have Troy Baker, they have Nolan North. Yeah. I, don't, I, I honestly don't know the other people, <laughs> but I mean... I mean, Aaron mentioned that uh, um, the one guy that was doing Thor... Travis, I know, is from Critical Role as well, and he's done voice acting for a lot of other things, oh, too. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't think of anything else right offhand. And then the other, the girl, um, Lori, is that her name? Laura? Something like that. I'm pretty sure she's also in Critical Role. And she also is a voice actor for sure, a lot okay. of stuff, too. But, I mean, Critical Role has voice actors from, like, different animations, from anime. Um, one of them voices Lloyd from Kogias. Mm -hmm. Okay. And stuff like that. Right, so, like, okay. there's, there's all kinds of talent in there. So they're def definitely yeah. well-versed voice actors. It seems like they brought some big guns in terms of voice talent yeah. to yeah. these characters. Yeah. I did kind of feel like the character designs were MCU, but with more generic faces a little bit, yeah. other than Ant-Man uh, towards the end. I could but see like that. Thor, Hulk, it, it's Black seeing... Widow, Iron Man—they all look just look like an action figure figure version of the MCU character. Yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen if they are going to go with their own thing—a more stylized graphic style. Yeah, agreed. Besides having up to four people online, like co-op kind of thing, which is cool to be able to go into this world with like all your heroes. And yeah, I, I get to be this one. You get to be that one. Cool. Sure. We all get to be our favorites. The idea of a growing roster. Mm -hmm. With uh, more like territories and stuff you get to go into, yeah, and they add it for free. They add it for yeah. free. So yeah. I'm like, oh, we're gonna keep this game going and stuff. Like, sure, sure you might have some other microtransactions or something. You know, maybe you want to have this Iron Man yeah. suit or you want to have this Spider Man. Suit, you know, whatever they do, but you could still keep having the roster and play it without having yeah, well, extra money in it. Well, we've seen like the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. Yeah, which I, I have fun with those. Those are fun. I like the Lego ones. Yeah, well, we've also seen. I think it's Marvel Heroes, the MMO. I think it's called Marvel Heroes, but there's an MMO out there where you can play the Marvel stuff, and I, I think that's what they were referencing when they were like, "Oh, you know, none of the content costs anything." Yeah. Because in that, like, they're releasing new stuff all the time, but it all costs money. Yeah. 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 Okay. And they, you. Didn't they also mention there wasn't going to be any like random loot boxes or anything like that? that Which is also stuff in the MMO yeah. game. Yeah. Okay, I, I know how these games are made. It takes years, so like, I'm sure they're planning the story. Well, before, like you know, years ago, yeah, yeah. Before, obviously before Infinity War Part One and everything else, but it's really jarring seeing like, a young Tony Stark. And it, yeah, I mean, it, it's different when if you're putting it as like, oh man, Tony Stark is he gonna be? You know, is he gonna be my Tony Stark? Is that he's fresh in my mind that he's, why is this that he's still Black Widow Jr. Why yeah. does this Black Widow not look like Scarlett Johansson? You know, I don't think or, 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 yeah. any of that kind of stuff. But um, I mean, I, I, I think I can separate it enough. Like whenever I watch, if I watch Earth's Mightiest Heroes, I'm not gonna be expecting. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. Well, yeah, but this feels like, like a so. really story-driven game. You know? Yeah, but I mean, we have story-driven Marvel stuff with, without yeah. that. I, I think it's. Uh, I will. I will jarring. watch this game's development with great interest. Yes, Same. I will as well. And we will, should be getting more with that because we also have a meetup with Square Enix tomorrow. Yep. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll have more information on what we think and how it looks and all that kind of stuff as well on Marvel's Avengers. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for the Square Enix press conference. I think we covered everything. Sorry, Gus wasn't here this year to play Thomas. So sad. <laughs> so sad. But, all right, guys, make sure you stay tuned. All the E3 <laughs> conference and everything that we're going to be covering, 
Uh, lots of videos coming up as soon as we can get them up. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.